Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I want to show you how to split electric guitars for effects processing in Reaper. Now, in some previous videos, I showed you how to do this with a bass and an acoustic guitar. In this video, we're going to focus on electric guitars as the process is similar, but a bit different. So I thought it was worth another video. So a project in front of me here with some drums, a bass, two guitars, and a vocal. But all this will work with many guitars all bust together. Let's see what it sounds like now. So I want to EQ and compress the guitar tracks, both guitar tracks at the same time, but separate their frequencies to make the processing more smooth. So the first thing we're going to do is create another track. So we could bus our guitars too. We'll go right here, create a new track, and let's name this guitar Guitars Low, as it's just going to focus on the low frequencies of our guitars. Then we're going to bus both guitars or all guitars in our project to it, at least the ones we want to focus on. So we'll select both tracks, hold on shift, and drag the routing button to it. And that buses both tracks to our new track. But now we're going to hear the guitars in both places, both from here and here. And we don't want that. So to turn it off from over here, Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just click it. And it takes those tracks out of the master pair and send. As we can see, right here, it's turned off. So now we're just hearing the guitars through this track. So it works like a folder, but it's a little more convenient to create a bus as we're going to use multiple tracks for this. So now we'll go to the effects on this track and we're going to add a splitter. We could choose three, four, or five band. And this is really up to you how many bands you want to split the guitars into. I tend to just use three, but you could use more. Let's choose this. And if we go to the plugin pins connector, we can see by default, it's just sending out the low frequencies, which is all we want for this track. So we play it now. We're just hearing from 200 hertz down. Let's move this up and out of the way. And if we adjust this crossover frequency, we're just going to hear from this frequency down. So we want to focus this on the low end of the guitar, the boominess, or anything we want to control as the low end of our guitars. So we can adjust it. Now to do this with more fine tuning, hold on control on the PC, command on the Mac, and this fader moves with more fine tuned control. Right around 300 hertz sounds good to me. And we can see this on a meter by adding one afterwards. Let's choose the frequency meter, which you can see right here. Before, it looks like this. And afterwards, it looks like this. Where it rolls off those higher frequencies. Let's delete this one and let's compress this track. I'm going to choose the Rear Comp Compressor. We'll use 4 to 1, turn on Auto Makeup Gain, and use the default Attack and Release Times. And we can adjust it to control the low end of our guitars. Right 
right about there feels good. It just controls the dynamics of just the low end of our guitars. So now we'll do this separately for each frequency. Let's duplicate this track, right click, duplicate tracks, and we'll change the name of this one to highs. We'll work on the mids last. Open the effects. Let's turn off the compressor and change our splitter or our crossovers with the pin connector to just control the high frequencies right here. And if we hear it, we don't really hear much because we're just hearing from 22 kilohertz up. So we'd adjust that here from this frequency on up. We're just looking for the top end of the guitar that we want to control separately from the rest. Really just the brightest part of it. Right about 3100 or 3.1K sounds good to me. So now let's compress just this part. And like I said, this will control just the top end of the guitars, keeping the dynamic range more limited. So it won't jump out louder or softer, more controlled. So now let's duplicate this again for the mids. Name this one mids. Go to the effects on this one. And we'll switch this to the mids. And we don't want to change a course of a point now, as it'll affect the phase of the other tracks. We just want to keep it as it's set up. So now we're hearing between 300 hertz and 3100 or 3.1 kilohertz. Now we can compress this separately as well. So I can mix this back together in the mixer. Let's solo all those tracks, bring these down, and blend them to taste. Starting with the lows, ending in the mids and the highs. So if we want less lows, so the guitars aren't as muddy, we could bring this down. Or reduce the mids. Or make it less bright. Or brighter. So basically EQing the guitars by using different faders in the mixer, but still compressing each frequency completely separately, controlling each one so they don't jump out based on what notes are played. Now we could put these three tracks in a folder. Let's create another track, name it guitars. Let's drag these three tracks up to here. So it creates a folder that we can control the guitars in the mix totally from here. Let's hear it in the track. And we can still adjust the EQ by adjusting these faders. Yeah. 
and the overall guitar sound from here. And for the mixer, we don't really need to see or adjust the original guitar tracks. In fact, if we adjust them, it's going to affect our compression. So I prefer to hide them from the mixer. If we open up the track manager, we could hide these two tracks from our mixer. So we only see these three plus the master. In the track control panel, we don't need to see these tracks. So we could hide those in the track control panel right here. So now, if we want to edit our guitars, we could still do it from the track control panel without seeing those other tracks. But if we want to mix our guitars, we just see these tracks. giving us complete control of the frequencies separately over here and the master over here. So that's pretty much it. That's how to split electric guitars for effects processing in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Oh!